Hello everyone, welcome to Bryn Creates. Today I'm going to be making over this wood caddy. If this is your first time here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Also leave a comment down below if this is a project that you might like to try. Alright, let's get started. First you're going to need of course the caddy. Um, you're going to need some sandpaper. You're going to need a paintbrush. This one is a one and a half um, inch paintbrush that you would normally use like if you're painting a wall or trim or something like that. Um, some paint of your choice. Um, this is a, some sample paint I have left over from another project and I'm just going to use this. Um, then also I have this which you're gonna see me use. Um, show, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with this in just a minute. Um, this is a, a electronics dust duster. You normally use this like for computers and things. And here we go. So first we're gonna start off sanding. Once you sand the edges of this, just sand it up, just to rough it up just a little bit, just so that once I paint it, the paint can adhere um, well to the wood. Then I'm going to take this, which I showed you earlier, place it on the blast, all this sanding I just did. you guys now it's time to paint now first I'm going to start off with painting my outside perimeter um, and then I'll go on the inside um, I'm gonna paint the handle last because this is what I'm gonna need to use to be able to um, essential in me helping me paint this so this needs to be the last thing I paint I also wanted to mention that for this project, I use satin paint. Um, you can also use semi-gloss paint. And the reason why I use um, this type of paint is because it helps to make cleanups real easily. Um, say for instance, if you're using it for makeup or you're using it for like I'm, like I'm using it for school supplies, if there gets marks or anything or if something spills on it or whatever, it's gonna be easy to wipe clean. You guys, I do apologize for some of the angles in this shot. Um, my camera tilted as I was doing this, and as you can tell, some of the parts of me painting is cut off. But again, I do apologize for that. So I just finished with my um, first coat on the outside of the caddy, as you can see. I'm going to allow this to dry um, at least 30 minutes, 20-30 uh, minutes. This paint dries pretty fast, so it might be dry before then, but I say about 20 minutes at least before I paint the other coat on. Um, now while I am letting this dry, I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to wrap my brush that out the way. I'm going to wrap my brush inside of this plastic bag. What that does is that keeps my brush moisturized. It keeps it 
from drying out, getting chip paint, which I do not want. Um, so keep that wrapped in there until I'm ready to paint again. Now I'm going to paint the inside. Now the inside, if you, you don't have to do two coats on the inside. Um, you know, it's not really necessary, um, but you can just leave that up to you. Uh, what's your preference? love it oh, so pretty so now I'm gonna let it dry completely and then I will come back and show you guys what I'm gonna use it for all right you guys now you've seen it has dried completely oh it's, good. it's so pretty it came out so good oh I have these as you can see, see back some. I have these right here um and basically, I just kind of like shop my home in a sense because <laughs> I really didn't have anything to when I first thought about this, I was like, well, you know, I want to use it for that. But then at the same time, I didn't want like the pencil to be all over the place and I don't want like the the markers or whatever I put in there to just be random, like just be flopping over and stuff. So I did find these and I needed to also find something that was able to fit up under this bar because like the space is so limited. So like I couldn't use like a glass jar or anything like that. Um, maybe if you have like some old like baby food jars or something like that, that can maybe also work. But I had these, I got these from the Dollar Tree. Um, and I, like I said, I was using them for something else, but um i found that i really didn't need it for that so i gonna i'm gonna use these and what i'm gonna do is on the bottom of them i'm gonna put these little i forgot what you call these things but the little um these little velcro there you go these little velcro stickers on the bottom of them 
so that I can adhere these to the bottom of this so that they don't move around. You could also use like stuff like Silly Putty um, or you can just like, if you want to be more permanent, you can take a hot glue gun, just put some hot glue on the bottom and stick it to it that way too. Um, but this is what I had, um, so I'm gonna use this. And all I'm gonna do is just take this and I'm gonna take this off, put one part of it on the bottom. Then I'm gonna take the other part. Actually, I should've took this one off, because this is the felt part, but here it is. Put the felt part on top of it. And then what I'm gonna do is take this and I'm gonna put it inside. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting stuff in. 